so I wanted to record a slightly cheesy, slightly tongue-in-cheek, slightly shallow video about the perks and positives of having a transgender wife. Um, I'm going to start off with the kind of shallow stuff, but funny stuff, the stuff that we think um, is funny, but also really good. Um, I've got a list, so I'll work through them, and I'm going to end on some stronger stuff, I think. So, the first perk when you um, start to embrace and once you discover your transgender wife is makeup. Um, on all levels, there is twice the amount of makeup in our house now, maybe more. Um, she will sometimes do my makeup, I can sometimes do her makeup. We practice that together, it's fun, it's like having um, that kind of teenage friendship. There's like another level to our relationship where we're like these two little giddy teenagers doing makeup together. Um, and we can share it, we can use each other's, we can um, test things out. If one person buys something that they don't like it, they can give it to the other one. Obviously there's certain things that we keep that's only ours. However, she has stolen my favorite Barry M lipstick. What's that all about? So I need to get another one of those. And that's a good excuse to get a second one. So we've got a backup. Number two, clothing. Um, we haven't started sharing clothes yet, but there's definitely lots of clothes of hers that I would like to use. She's used mine actually, but obviously that's because she didn't have a big selection in the beginning. Um, but there's a few things in her wardrobe that I think, oh, when that gets a bit more worn, I'm gonna borrow that if she lets me. Well, she will let me. Um, so you get to have like, twice the amount of clothing, which is epic. Um, the same goes for number three, which is jewellery. There's there's jewellery, um, there's a jewellery expansion happening in our house. Um, I'm currently sporting some that Molly made me today. Um, yeah, there's loads of jewellery now and that's ever expanding and I think it will continue to increase um, so you've got loads more options and you can really delve into this kind of like um, you join the excitement really and you get into this youthful feeling of let's try this and let's try that and you embrace it a little bit I think you embrace being you again um, number four this was Zoe's suggestion suggestion she basically said imagine if we had the same shoe size and can you imagine I love shoes we are not the same shoe sh shoe size. I can't get my words out. We are not the same shoe size, unfortunately. But if you are, and your transgender wife is, you are made. Like you are going to have the best shoe collection ever, ever. Um. So yeah. <laughs> um. Number five is shopping. Um. Shopping is no longer a drag. It's no longer me moping, me walking around looking at stuff while she mopes in the background complaining about the men's section. I've had that for like 10 years. The whole time I've known her, she's been really unhappy about clothing, um, how drab the clothing choices that she had were. Um, and now she's fun to shop with, although she is still really fussy. I could pick out like 10 things in the time that she takes to pick out one. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of um, fun shopping now, um, but we also end up spending too much money. But that, that's not the perk. The perk is that we get to go shopping together and experience it in a really positive way. It's so much more fun. Um, okay, number six, toilets. Um, we've got a pretty open door policy in our house, but now when we go out for nights out or we're out at events and stuff, we get to spend even longer together by going to the toilets together, which is sounds really sad but we love being together and um, you get to do all those little girly things like you know sharing a cubicle at clubs and just just feeling like you're in it together really and I also I get to protect her because if it was an say if I couldn't go into the women's toilets um, I wouldn't be able to do that but I can go in because um, I'm a woman and she goes in because she's a woman and I can 
protect her and make sure she's okay, which is really, really nice. And we've never had any trouble though, but you never know. So um, yeah, that's a really, really nice one. Um, number seven um, is all about appreciation because now Zoe is starting to see the world from a woman's eyes fully because she is a woman and she's out there as a woman um, she's getting to see things from a female perspective a little bit more um, you know how people treat her how men treat her how men treat me and other women she's she's always seen that anyway because she's never been um, typically kind of one of the guys she's never really been that person anyway um, which all, again makes me question how did I not know um, uh, but um, now she's seeing it a lot more um, in certain situations so it's like a new appreciation for what um, we both go, are going through I guess um, number eight beauty nights and nails is the title of number eight um, we are having a lot more time taking care of ourselves, a lot more time putting face masks on and painting each other's nails, a lot of time just um, appreciating who we are and being kind to each other really. Foot rubs and just loveliness, just this reconnection. Not that we didn't do those things before, but they're just a lot more um, reoccurring now. Um, I really like that. I love. I love that she wants to paint my nails and that she wants me to paint hers and stuff. It's like this different, another level of connection again. It's just really lovely. Um, number nine, it's getting deep now. Okay, we've had all the frivolous ones and all the shallow ones that are still cool but a bit shallow, a bit cheesy. Um, we're getting a little bit deeper. So number nine is we're happier and truer to ourselves. So Zoe coming out has meant that um, we've had to look into ourselves and look at our love and see how it's been tested really how strong is that love how you know <clears throat> can we go the distance and it's just proven to me just how much we love each other um i'm going to try not to cry i'm having a really emotional day today but it has shown us how much happier we can be how much true to ourselves we can be um and it's just a lovely lovely thing to discover to discover that kind of um real joy just from being ourselves and she's helped me be myself more which is epic okay number 10 discovery of people this could sound negative but you truly discover who your friends are and that can include family as well you discover who's going to go the distance with you you discover who isn't as well and you could see that as a negative but it's better that you know early on things might change I get it things might change people may, may change their minds about things and start being more accepting but they might not and if you know from the beginning which you do with a subject like this people show their colors like straight away and that can be from not speaking to you, from ignoring you. It could be they are, they say they just can't cope and they cut you off. It could be that they're nasty to you and all these different things. And you see them for who they are and you just, for me personally, it's about that's, you can go and carry on doing what you're doing, but we're living and we're happy. Um, and then you discover the people that are just so rooting for you. And this could be for someone who's known you just on Facebook for a few minutes but they are rooting for you like there's no tomorrow and that's been a massive discovery for us who is in our corner and the people that are in our corner are epic and I, I can't thank you enough for that um, and that's number 10 <laughs> number 11 my final one and it links to, to the other two is strength you become so much stronger through a process like this through a change a massive life change like this um, you become stronger together you become strong when you're apart because you have to be for each other 
you become stronger because you've got people who really love you. you you become stronger because there are people that support you that have never met you you become stronger because you form new communities new friendships you you talk to people that you might never have talked to before you you just become this strong unit and if it's going to work this is going to happen and it's going to be epic and so they are all my perks my positives my amazing versions of results from your wife coming out to you as transgender like it's april now and it's been a mad year so far but i wouldn't change any of it um zoe is becoming more confident as each day goes by she still has her struggle she still has a lot to deal with um but I know and I feel it every day is that we're in it together and we've got this little community of support. And it doesn't have to be massive. You don't have to have a hundred people supporting you. It could just take one or two. Um, and as long as you've got that and you've got each other, because you might not even have that at first. I didn't feel like we did. I felt like it was just me and Zoe and my mom and the kids. That was enough. It was enough to get us through January and February and it's enough to get us through forever and make sure that we're strong and I, I don't know I can't I'm gushing I can't I can't explain how positive Zoe's coming out has been on us as a family and there are some cool little shallow perks I'm not afraid to deny I'm not I'm not afraid to admit that I won't deny that um the epicness of having more nail varnish in the house is love it I love it um, and they're just the little things that are on top of the big things aren't they so if you're going through this journey and you're at a point where you can see the light and you you know you're up for a giggle then this video hopefully will resonate with you but there's also a deeper section to it as well and I hope you can see that thanks for watching guys bye